Discipline the Mind, Part 2 Romans 12.2 Do not be conformed to this world, but be transformed by the renewal of your mind, that by testing you may discern what is the will of God, what is good and acceptable and perfect. Proverbs 10.17 Whoever heeds instruction is on the path of life, but he who rejects reproof leads others astray. Psalm 94.12 Blessed is the man whom you discipline, O Lord, and whom you teach out of your law. First John 4.18 There is no fear in love, but perfect love casts out fear, for fear has to do with punishment, and whoever fear has not been protected in love. James 2.10 For whoever keeps the whole law but fails in one point has become guilty in all of it. Hebrews 12.6 For the Lord disciplines the one he loves and chastises every son whom he receives. Titus 2.11-14 for the grace of God has appeared, bringing salvation for all people, turning us to renounce ungodly and worldly passions, and to live self-controlled, upright, and godly lives in the present age, waiting for our blessed hope, the appearing of the glory of our great God and Savior, Jesus Christ, who gave himself for us to redeem us from all lawlessness and to purify for him a people, for his own possession who are zealous for good works. Galatians 5.23 Gentleness, self-control, against such things there is no law. 2 Corinthians 10.5 we destroy arguments and every lofty opinion raised against the knowledge of God and take every thought captive to obey Christ. First Corinthians 9, 24-27 Do you not know that in a race all runners run, but only one receives the prize? So run that you may obtain it. Every athlete exercises self-control in all things. They do it to receive a perishable wreath, but we an imperishable. So I do not run aimlessly. I do not box as one beating the air, but I discipline my body and keep it under control, lest after preaching to others, I myself should be disqualified. John 3.16-17 For God so loved the world, that He gave His only Son, that whoever believes in Him should not perish but have life everlasting. For God did not send His Son into the world to condemn the world, but in order that the world might be saved through Him. Jeremiah 17.23 Yet they did not listen or incline their ear, but stiffened their neck, that they might not hear and receive instruction. Proverbs 16.32 Whoever is slow to anger is better than the mighty, and he who rules his spirit than he who takes a city. Proverbs 15.10 There is severe discipline for him who forsakes the way. Whoever hates reproof will die. Proverbs 13.18 
poverty and disgrace come to him who ignores instruction, but whoever heeds reproof is honored. Proverbs 12.1 Whoever loves discipline loves knowledge, but he who hates reproof is stupid. Proverbs 1.3 To receive instruction in wise dealing, in righteousness, justice, and equity. Psalm 127.3 Behold, children are a heritage from the Lord, the fruit of the womb a reward. Job 5.17 Behold, blessed is the one whom God reproves. Therefore, despise not the discipline of the Almighty. Psalm 39.11 when you discipline a man with rebukes for sin, you consume like a moth what is dear to him. Surely all mankind is a mere breath. Selah. Deuteronomy 8.5 Know then in your heart that as a man disciplines his son, the Lord your God disciplines you. Deuteronomy 4.36 Out of heaven he let you hear his voice, that he might discipline you, and on earth he let you see his great fire, and you heard his word out of the midst of the fire. Heavenly Father, we come before you with open hearts, grateful for the wisdom found in your word. Today we seek the strength to heed instruction, knowing that it leads us on the path of life. Grant us the humility to accept reproof, understanding that it guides us and helps us grow. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Thank you guys for watching. If this video has blessed you today, please click on the like button, subscribe and leave us a comment. You can also find us on Instagram. Have a blessed day and see you next time.